that's a good delivery. That was sharp. He'll get some runs for it, David Warner. But he absolutely knew nothing about that. Seems to have injured himself as well, David Warner. That ball hit his hand on the bat. It must be quite serious. He does not leave the field unless he has serious reason to do that. That's four. First of the innings. Beautifully timed. Too short. That will go. Good attempt. Walks the man down there. That's four again. On the boundary. The fourth for this innings. Got it through again. Well, two half volleys in a row. And that's another that's fallen straight and it's worked into the leg side up the hill. Gonna go all the way, yes. Lovely shot, punched down the ground towards the pavilion gates. is gone looked a very very good delivery reward for bowling a fuller length looks like it's just nipped down the slope and found the gap between bat and pad seen that before it's a gorgeous shot oh what a lovely shot that is barely Full of poise, just down the ground, threw me off, caressed. That'll be four. Liam Plunkett is really square, that's gone fine. Oh, that's one ball, too. Mm, no, cries Liam Plunkett, and uh, nothing more frustrating from a bowler's point of view than. Leaking a boundary off the last ball, 91 for one. Put the bad ball away, but keep your wits about you with Rashid, because you're going to get the really odd, awful ball. It's a good shot. Good use of the feet from Bailey, good placement as well. Really good footwork and beautiful execution of the shot, too. Lovely shot. A lot of control to the shot. Make sure if it goes all the way. May have to have a, a second look at this. Beautifully timed as well. Didn't uh, try and hit the ball too hard. Well played, George Bailey. 50. Look very calm at the crease. He has five boundaries. He looks set for a big one today. Slashed away. It will go quickly to the boundary behind point. And it will bring up another half century to the captain. He loves this ground. Double hundred in the test match. And he's going nicely again. Beautifully bold. Moan Alley getting it to turn sharply. Bailey looking to expose that offside. And this is going to go just wide of the one behind square for four. Yeah, it wasn't that far away, but it was just hit well. Edged and out. Looking to slash that through the offside and not middling it. And Taylor completing the catch at backward point, a big wicket for England. Oh, that's very short, and help yourself. And that brings up Maxwell's 50th six in one day international cricket. Well struck, the reverse sweep nicely played. Full flourish for that one, and he picked the gap beautifully. That's a good shot. 
really good shot and he's got power and carry and distance gets himself into such a good position here and able to get that bat speed up and just look at this carry goes again and with very very similar results two excellent strikes from Glenn Maxwell there sixes from successive balls change of ploy still the boundary though Ooh, that's pretty straight straight enough for the finger to go up and Glenn Maxwell pondering whether or not to have another look at this but it did look as though he'd gone across in front of his stumps it was nice and full from Stephen Finn just got enough on it well that could have gone and in fact has gone a long way in the gap between the tavern stand and the Allen stand don't think you caught it sir another big shot this one goes straight another six this has gone a long long way so both Marsh and Watson have really taken to Moen Alley in this over they've had a chat he's got to go climbing into the off spinner here we go again and this is going to be threatening those in the stands this time in the tavern stand that was an over too many for Moen Alley and will be the end of his day with the ball for sure 19 runs from it 248 for four gone a bit wide of long off will he be able to cut that off just about no it still goes into the boundary straight down the ground and very powerfully hit no one will stop that yeah he is powerful Mitchell Marsh the powerful man all the way yeah straight to the man at long on and caught plunk it down there takes the catch it's <laughs> just a look and a word between two all-rounders Watson hit it pretty well actually went deep into his crease struck it well but uh, you're hitting to the long part of the ground there and plunk it got good strong hands <laughs> Another eight balls to go. Can they get 300, Australia? Long on is in place, but he won't get to that. That's six. A low full toss. Power of Mitchell Marsh. I don't think he got that anywhere near the middle, but it still flew for six. That's a few more. Oh, almost. What an attempt that was. That would have been brilliant from Jason Roy. <laughs> it's 50 50 for Marsh but this would have been one of the great catches Roy going away to his right gets a hand on it that's gone right up in there that should be an easy dismissal and it is it is but the cross and that's the uh, key thing here I think for Australia the fact that Mitchell Marsh scampered through Slow ball, just it's been dispatched. And then he bowls the wrong line. Not quite the right line with fine leg up. And he goes over mid off again. Off the glove, I think. I think that's a wicket. Yes, it is. So a wicket of the very last delivery of the innings. Good knock, though, by Mitchell Marsh. Oh, nicely struck. End time. That should run all the way for four. So a boundary for Roy to get off the mark. Time perfectly, but a run away for at least a couple. I'll tell you what, you can add a couple more to that, so four more.
to Roy. Yeah, it's quite amazing. It's quite frustrating as a fielder. You never seem to gain on the ball going down that slope. Oh, nicely played through the leg side, and that will run away for another four. So three fours for Jason Roy to get his innings on the way. Oh, that'll run away for another four. Over pitching once again, Nathan Colt Marl and paying the price to the leg side. A better shot still. Excellent over. And a frustrated Mitchell Stark goes to the boundary through the offside. A nice bit of timing from Alex Howes. Oh, nicely played through the offside. Just waiting on that and punching it through extra cover. That's four. Four more. In the air and caught. Stunning catch from Steve Smith at extra cover. So Coulton Isle strikes. Smith's just gone to short, shorter extra cover. Goes, tries to go aerial. And that is just in his fingertips. It's a great catch. Oh, thank you very much, says Jason Roy. Half volley wide, and he punishes it through the offside. That's a good shot. What a lovely shot. Jason Roy pumps one down the ground. England move on to 51 for one. That's better from James Taylor. More control through extra cover. Threaded. 10 overs, 57 for one. Down to third man against. Oh, he's dropped him! Well, we've just seen him on screen. It's a substitute, Marcus Steinis. Taylor just looking to slash away, and because of that extra pace, 89 miles an hour, it carries all the way, and it's a straightforward chance. Put down. Oh, outside edge and gone this time. Jason Roy waits momentarily, but he's nicked it and he's gone. Yeah, it was working up uh, ahead of steam here, Cummins. Short. Yeah, it's a nasty ball, that, to get first up. It's a good shot, just away to the left of mid-wicket. James Taylor gets into a really good position here this time. Nothing wrong with that shot. Very quick hands. Slashed away over the top. It's going to be a couple of bounces and four. Wit from Cummins, suitably dispatched. Again, a bit of width from Cummins, and again, James Taylor finds the boundary. Useful boundaries, these very useful boundaries at a time like this. It's and gone, yes. Getting it or trying to get it down to third man gets it too fine. Good catch from Wade, the breakthrough they so dearly needed. Oh. Beautifully placed. Field is quick, so we'll go for four. We'll please the captain. He's perhaps not been in his fluent best yet. Oh, now then. Apology from Mitchell Stark. Or is it an appeal? I can't think that they've appealed, but they have. I have enough evidence to suggest that that is obstructing the field. It's extraordinary, and uh, booze from the Lord's crowd, but and he's not happy. Ah! Had a good look at that. He had a very good look at that, Tim Robinson. There is a review available, and they have taken it. Ball pitching in line, impact in line, and hitting the stumps. That will go quickly for four. Again, a huge cheer from the Lord's crowd. 150 up. Tack! Thought there was trouble there uh, straight away for Morgan. I think he's uh, hit it well enough. He has. 
seeing no apparent effort in the shot. Gone here, top edge sweep. Moen Ali, the latest to go, silence around Lords now as England lose their sixth wicket. Joy for the Australians on the field. It's 50. 50 for the England captain, Owen Morgan's played nicely. He's got a lot to do though. 129 from 87, but he's got the bit between his teeth. There might be a bit of anger in there as well. Inside edge there, I think. Yeah, Wokes turning, didn't even wait for the finger to go up. Just a little backward glance. And this England innings declining now. Seventh man to go. In the air and out. Coulter Nile at mid on. Finishing off the work, Rashid going down the ground but finding the fielder. So another one falls. And that'll be out of here. Great response from Owen Morgan. Short ball going well back. Over fine legs, head for six. Oh, this will go for another six. Short and over. Oh! Oh, dearie me! I'll tell you what, that may be saved. Oh, I think Colt Nile is actually signalling that he had his feet on the rope at the time. Yep, there it is. Six. And go again. Go further. Way over mid on a huge hit from Morgan. Beautifully struck down the ground from Plunkett, so he's joining in the fun. Heaved over mid on, that'll be another boundary. Slashed away through point for another boundary. That's three of them this over. Pulled away again, so this will run into the mid-wicket fence for another four. Four fours from five deliveries, this over. And struck beautifully over extra cover and will beat deep cover. Ashton Agar out there, couldn't make the ground. He's at a 50 partnership now, 53 from just 20 balls, super shot. Absolutely super shot from Owen Morgan. Stand and deliver from him. Bowling around the wicket first ball, there it is, and Stark lets the crowd know about it. Exactly what the captain, what the doctor ordered. Quick and straight. In the air, and this has not been hit out of the middle and should be caught and is. So Maxwell doing the good work out at deep mid-off, and it's the end of a very fighting innings from Owen Morgan, England captain. And, uh, it appears that the captains are just discussing that incident that happened early in the day. Two decent blokes, Owen Morgan and Steve Smith, and I'm sure over a beer at the end of the night, it'll all be settled.